Dear policyholders, read your policy. Sylvia Browder here. I'm an independent residential property claims adjuster with nearly three years of claims experience. And I've seen some really bad policies. So let's talk about the importance of reviewing and understanding your insurance policies declaration page. And in the comment section below, let me know the last time you pulled out your declaration page of your policy and got a good understanding of your policy's detail. So let's get into this. Number one, the definition of a declaration page. The declaration page is a summary of your insurance policy that includes important information such as policyholder details, coverage limits, deductibles, premium amounts, and other key policy provisions. Number two, policyholder details. Verify that all personal information on the declaration page is accurate including your name, address, and any other relevant details. Any errors in this information could lead to complications in the event of a claim. Number three, coverage limits. Review the coverage limits listed on the declaration page to ensure they meet your current needs. Understanding, again, Understanding your coverage limits will help you determine if you have adequate protection in place for your assets and liabilities. Quick story. Before I became a claims adjuster, my husband always took care of our insurance needs. So once I became an adjuster, I reviewed our policy and I was petrified of what I found. One of the things that I found was that we did not have personal property coverage. It was excluded. So what that meant was everything I owned in my home, and I have a 4,000 square foot home with one, two, three, five bedrooms. Can you imagine if I lost everything and had no protection? So you must, you must know your policy. Number four, deductibles. Take note of the deductibles specified in your policy. The deductible is the amount you are responsible for paying out of pocket before your insurance coverage kicks in. Make sure you understand how your deductible works and how it affects your premium. Depending on the type of policy you have, I've seen deductibles range from one, two, to even 5% or even a flat fee um, for wind and hail damage. So recently, I had to tell a policyholder that their wind and hail deductible was 10% of their coverage A dwelling. So imagine if your coverage A dwelling is a $500,000 limit, then you're looking at a $50,000 deductible. You must read your policy and know every detail of it on that declaration page. Number five, policy endorsements. Check for any policy endorsements or riders attached to your policy on the declaration page. These additional documents may modify or add coverage to your policy. So it is essential to review them carefully. 
For a lot of older homes, your roof can carry an ACV endorsement. And what that means is that the insurance company will pay the actual cash value of your roof at the time of a covered loss. The actual cash value minus your deductible amount minus the depreciation cost according to the age of your roof. This will dramatically, dramatically decrease your settlement amount. And again, know your policy. Know what you've signed up for. Number six, premium amount. Understand the premium amount that listed on the declaration page and when payments are due. Make sure you are aware of any discounts or surcharges that may apply to your policy. Number eight, contact information. Locate the contact information for your insurance company or agent on the declaration page. Knowing who to contact in case of questions or emergencies can help you navigate the claims process more effectively. And number nine, regular reviews. Plan to review your declaration page and insurance policy annually or whenever significant life changes occur, such as buying a new home, getting married, or having children. Keeping your coverage up to date ensures you have the protection you need. By understanding and regularly reviewing your insurance policy declaration page, you can make informed decisions about your coverage and ensure you are adequately protected in times of need.